Thank you. My name is Mika Petteri Kuro, and today I'm going to give you a demonstration of our Smart Fleet monitoring tool. Smart Fleet fits any type of equipment, increasing availability and safety by allowing all monitoring to be done remotely. The data shown is from one of our existing applications. Smart Fleet is built so that you have fleet overview with the basic information on one screen. Each box represents one machine. The main icons tell you the vehicle number, the engine information, on, active or off, whether there is a Wi-Fi connection, the stability of the machine to prevent tipping over and the warnings. Alarms are shown in yellow and red, with the latter being more urgent. Finally, the total running hours are shown for each machine. At times, the fleet overview will not provide sufficient detail. By double-clicking a machine, more detailed information can be accessed. The statistics screen shows cumulative counter values as well as actual numbers. On the top, common information and current status information is displayed. At the bottom of the screen, there are data shown related to machine moving, actual speeds and cumulative hour and counters. On the right side, you can see counters for moved containers and actual from the current load. The engine overview shows an engineer how the engine is currently used, the fuel-related figures and actual such as speed and air temperatures are illustrated as well. The engineer can also see whether the pressures are correct and if the coolant level low warning is active. It's inactive now, so that level is OK. Smartlit also ensures data trace where key values are visualized in trends. When a machine utilizes electric power details related to electric drives and generators are visualized in AC Electrics pages. Brakes and hydraulics is focused on temperatures and various on-off type warnings for those systems. Hoisting is a major part of the operation. On the left, you can see hoist speed from PLC and container weight. On the right, safety-related data visualized with on-off LEDs. Furthermore, there are LEDs showing the hoist direction and joystick reference, showing the values the drivers are asking from the joystick. Auxiliary systems show whatever auxiliary systems are included in the machine. In this case, central applications. Other options to be shown could include, for instance, tire pressures. Moving into spreader tab, we see basic figures about spreader, like length, and height. On the spreader, there are indicators showing the status of twist locks and land pins. The alarms page provides an overview of the information of recent alarms with timestamp. The alarm index helps tracking the number of alarms in the system. Error code is the error classification from 1 to 7, where 7 is the most critical. The error source can be found from the source function, with the description for that error being provided. Country travel related data is visualized in this page. On the left hand side, there are figures and trend of drive motors. On the right, there is a speed pedal reference indicating the driver's behavior. Idle times presented are preset values for the machine, telling what is the threshold time for machine to make those maneuvers. At down right corner, Driving speed is shown both in number and in trend as well. Now you have seen a short demonstration of our application for real-time monitoring of the machine fleet. Like mentioned in the beginning, the data shown in the screens was recorded from a live application. What we have shown from the Smart Fleet tool today shows the remote monitoring and troubleshooting. Additionally, Smartlit has a module collecting data and storing it for review and analysis at a later date. Should you have any questions on Smartlit, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.